But, uh, yeah, 10 grand, st- uh, but to get a job there, Rooster Teeth would still be nice, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do, uh, do you know what he does? Yeah, he's a machine animator. Okay. So it's, like, you know, it's one of the easy jobs, too, kind of, in a sense. You just, get, you just uh, put the characters in the right place, and then, uh... Machinima is actually really hard. Somewhat. I've done some myself, and... I, I've tinkered is. around with it, too, and it's, like... It's not easy. Uh... Especially on the scale they do it with. Yes, yes. And and how fluid they make it look, too. Yeah. But uh, it's not as necessarily as complicated as, like, uh, doing a live-action shoot. Yeah, or animation or something. Yeah. <laughs> I would right, say, uh, you're fighting coding. right now. So, yeah, um... Who else did I meet? I met, um, Kyle. Last name I can't remember. <laughs> but, um, oh, yes! Kyle! He's a sponsor cut guy. He does a lot of the sponsor work, and he edits some stuff. Um, I think that was all the Rooster guys. I know. I feel like I'm forgetting someone, but I can't think who. Oh, I met um Luke McKay, who used to do the RT comics. He was a cool dude. Um, God, I feel bad. I feel like I'm forgetting someone, but I can't remember. Oh yeah. Uh, fuck. How can I forget this? Um, I very briefly got to meet um Eagle Raptor. Nice. Which is cool. Aaron from Game Grumps. Um, we were just walking around the show floor. I was actually buying a t-shirt. And um, I turned around to Kate. Oh, see it. I'm good. <laughs> I turned around to ask Caitlin something. And right behind her was Danny Sexbank from Game Grumps. That doesn't just, sound like Ego Raptor. I was just like, holy crap, that's Danny. And then like he walks by. like It was him, Aaron... Ross and... No. It was four of them. Because they had five of them there, but it was four of them. I think Ross was somewhere else. I think it was Barry and Susie. Were they heading to, like, the, uh... Uh, what's it called? Um... Cards Against Humanity panel or anything like that? They were just going somewhere else. They were being escorted by, um... Guardians? Yeah, by Guardians. So I was like... I probably could have gotten a picture or something. But I just didn't think about it. I've got to go back down there. Yeah, I know a lot of those guys were where it's just like if they, uh... If you ask them, they'll stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Leap to your doom. But, um, I was just like, dude, Danny Sexbang, Ego Raptor, awesome. And Aaron's like, hey, man, nice shirt. And I was wearing my, um, hey, I'm Grump shirt. So he was saying nice shirt with a shirt with his face on it. Well, of <laughs> course, it's, it's, you're promoting him. <laughs> I know. God, the, the Game Grumps panel was absolutely insane and kind of scary. Because, really? How they do... They do Q&A panels for all their panels. Yeah. And how every other panel did it was... um, They had microphones set up where people get in line and ask questions. Game Grumps had it set up to where they people would just hold things up in the air or raise their hands. And... But it's not like they were like at the uh, main convention hall, were they? They were. They were in... Really? They were at the main hall? They were the main hall. 4,000 people. That it seems was, abs- strange that they would do like that because... One of the main reasons that you you use it's not even like the microphones there really for the audience. It's the, usually there more for the uh, for the person themselves to hear because it's, you know, when you have four thousand people and someone's like you know fifty feet away even trying to talk to you can be kind of like you know uh, yeah. difficult. No, it was really hard to hear some of the conversations. But yeah, the thing was like they always say like hold something up so he can see you better. And oh, I'm dead. So it's like, that way we can do whatever and things. And um, there were people jumping on chairs, spinning bags around, holding their friends in the air, kicking and screaming. Yeah, that's why and it's best to have, like, you know, the form a line. Yeah, it was pretty crazy at some points, and I almost got whacked in the face a few times. And so did Caitlin. Yeah. Oh, I trade off with my... Yep. There you go. But still, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. I got to play a bunch of really cool games. I was actually uh, <laughs> yeah, vibration on. I watched a <laughs> bunch of panels on uh online, so I saw like the uh, uh the podcast panel. I saw like print. I watched all the uh, uh rooster teeth panel or all the um what's it called uh, achievement hunter panels. Yeah. Um, I can't remember which other ones I watched. 
I watched the Cartoons Humanity uh, one. That one was a lot of fun. That was hilarious to watch. Game uh, Grumps and Brewster Teeth. Yeah, playing Cartoons Humanity. Mike Aruba. <laughs> um, but uh, was it just me or did it seem like Miles was getting extremely drunk and extremely, extremely kind of like not really bad, but like almost obnoxious kind of too. Yeah. So, you know, it, so, you know, he wasn't. He wasn't like wrong. He wasn't bad or anything like that. It was, it was just like he he was being a little over the top. I felt like. Yeah. But it's again like, you know, like he had to have like a comment for everything, and so, you know nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But it's also I think he was just so excited because. I mean, I like these guys on the bad guys yet. Yeah, I think if you put your lights away, you get a little thing that you can hop up on. Press B. No, I see thing. Press A. Oh, what game had it? There's something where he had it where he would, like, jump up on a little hover thing. Oh, this is a Sith thing. Sith. Yeah. But, yeah, I I did kind of feel that way with Miles, but I also thought, like... it was He was pretty funny still, he, though. He was still funny, and he was drunk, and also he's on stage with the Game Grumps, who were, like, his idols. Yeah. And I was, like... He had just met them. I like, did like his story day. about how it's like you know, he came over like sweaty running and it's like oh my god I just it's like, hey I'm I'm Miles and uh, I'm gonna be working with you later. <laughs> yeah. Oh I think uh, order uh, six just got uh, said. Order sixty nine. Now they're evil. Now I can hit you like normal, like the Nazis that you are. <laughs> Come back here, Chewbacca. I must love you as well. I mean hit you. I mean. Show my love. You, you can stop saying this anytime you want now. No. This is how we do it in the trailer park. This is how we do it. You know what else thing was really weird that Chewbacca was in episode 3? Yeah. Like, it just seemed like it just came right the fuck out of nowhere. Well, duh. It, it was him, like, trying to, like, pander to the fans. And it's like, you know, Chewie's not in there and blah, blah, blah. But also, when you think about that, it's like, how old is Chewie now? Well, how old is he then? Like, here he could just be, like, 20 or something, he'd be like 40 in episode 4. Something like that, yeah. It's still kind of creepy to think about. I wouldn't call it creepy, just weird. Creepy. Because I think it was like 20 years between episode 3 and 4. Yeah, I think Luke's supposed to be like 18, 20 or something like that. I think he's about 20, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. He just wanted to go to the Tashi station. He's so gonna get some power converters. If you know what I mean. I get it. It's a euphemism. For boning. The Tashi Station's actually a strip club. Space porn. And I think I stole that joke from Robot Chicken. Probably. Robot Chicken's still good, though. I like it. I haven't watched Robot Chicken in ages. Oh, they're it's gonna still going strong. Still got a new season right now. Uh, Will Wheaton does a voice on it at one point. Um, you know... Nerd is still as funny as ever, I think. See so all those kind of bits. I'll rip out your arms. Oh my god! It's so unsanitary. Rated E for everyone. Oh, uh, it is comic mischief. So comically mischievous! I ripped out your arms. <laughs> Who else but Chewy? My pal Chewy. My pal Chewy. Just be careful, he has lice. <laughs> Leave it to Chewbacca. <laughs> Couldn't understand a word of that show, could you? What, you don't like, uh, Leave, or what was it? That's no, Andy I mean. Show. <laughs> <laughs> Leave I it to Andy, Andy Griffith. I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say uh, Leave it to Beaver, but it's like, no, it's Andy Griffith theme tumor. I think it's called, like, Welcome to Mayberry, actually. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. Going on down to Mayberry. <laughs> All the single ladies in Mayberry. All the single ladies. All the single ladders. That's actually a mashup. <laughs> it's all the single ladies with that... In the background. I heard one of um, Snoop Dogg mashed up with uh, Prince Ali from Aladdin. <laughs> That'd be great. It actually worked God. really well. I so want to hear that now. I'll see if I can find it. I'll send you uh, Sweet. on Facebook. You have to say, shoot me a link. I'm gonna shoot this thing. Not shooting it very well. Well, it died, and so did I. Come on, kill all of them! Make way! Kill all of the Snoop humans! Doggy. Ah. 
game killed me. So where are we, we supposed gotta, to go? Uh, we go to the Normandy over here, and uh... Oh, you just stole it. Yes. <laughs> okay, Yoda can have it, I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. Shooting mm -hmm. things I will. Shoot many bombs I will. <laughs> oh, and it jumps out, okay. Now we gotta open oh. a gate over here. I'm feeling we need this. I don't think you need it, but I mean it's cool. It's a giant mech. Mecha destruction. Oh no! It looks like it's a uh... standby for Titanfall. Worst game ever. I wouldn't say worst game ever. I got. A... You're right. That honor goes to uh, what's it called Final Fantasy VII. Titanfall is a fun game, it's just the servers fucking suck. Well, keep in mind, though, the 360 version wasn't made by the same people who made the Xbox One PC version. I know, it still makes me sad, because I got it for 360, and it's a lot of fun, but I was only able to finish, like, 7 of the 30 games I played. Well, It just would that, not work. Well, and even that, so. it's like... It, 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 had so, it had a lot of hype behind it. Yeah. It's, it's just, it didn't really fill the hype. I mean... I still love the movement in it, like the parkour, free running, and all yeah. that. It's fucking awesome. Which kind of makes it a little more frustrating that it didn't it didn't work right and I couldn't play it. Because if it was just a straight-up bad game, it's like, well, fuck it. But it's a good game with just bad servers. Yeah. Well, and that's like a lot of people <laughs> dropped from it. Because there's not that many people that play it anymore. Well, that's kind of like with how most games go in a sense of like, you know, their yeah. life cycle... Keep these bastards off me so that way I can force shit this shit. Well, you're not force shitting it very good, are you? Well, it's because it's you slow as constipation. fuck. Ow. Slow as fuck with the force power. Slow as fuck. Take it easy. Shitting me. All that time spent. Nothing worth we're, it. We're just supposed to go this way. Uh, <laughs> oh well. We, we had fun, didn't we? We quoted Futurama. I might just cut that bit out. We, we explored our sexuality. Uh, fingers it went all sorts of places. <laughs> Braided our hair. Talked about boys. Felt each other's nipples. Felt the cold embrace of death. And Felt the uh, warm embrace of death too, and a nice deep tonguing. So in the end, uh, let's go. I'd say that this was a successful trip on the magic school bus. We went into Arnold again. Still can't believe you don't know about metabots. <laughs> Zach and I were at uh, work the other day, uh, and there was absolutely jack of all to do. So we're going through the previews magazine. And uh, they had a, a Metabot statue, and we're just like, Hey, Metabots! And we're just like, God, Gus is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, he had no childhood. What a loser. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Not knowing about Metabots. I like how you're, the, you're calling me a nerd. You work at a comic store. Yeah, exactly. Nerd. Oh, there's a... Fucking nerd. Plebeian. Plebeian. Mobile. Oh yeah, he's funny. I was sitting down. Uh, play, I was playing a Call of Duty with a few of my buddies. I'm uh, playing PS4. the old Call of Duties. Nerd. Yeah. But uh, no, it's funny. So me and one of his buddies are talking about computers and everything. We're talking about uh, his computer and what specs it has, and my computer and what specs mine has. Our buddies just hysterical. Sit, no, our buddies just sitting there <laughs> quietly, doesn't chuckle or anything. When once when we finally get done, and he's sure that we're done. Though he only says two words. Fucking nerds. That's all that needs to be said. We're comparing specs about computers. I just broke that rock from my face. I'm yeah. a champion. You're an earthbender. You're tough. You sounds like tough. I broke with my mind. I am the avatar. Yep, yep. Oh, that'd be great. Why don't they make a Lego avatar game? 
I think they actually had a couple Lego Avatar kits. I can't remember. I think they were duplo blocks. But they need to you know, I want a Lego Avatar video game. No, that would be, be awesome, yeah. Did you guys see, or I think I told said this uh, like on one of our last videos, that like Platinum is making a Legend of Korra game? Yeah. That looks awesome. Cannot wait for that. I heard about it, but I haven't seen anything about it. Yeah, well, they haven't, like, I think they've just released some concept art. Yeah, I think it's been kind of talked briefly. Just saying, I think that all they've really said is, hey, it's coming out. Yeah, we're making one. Well, that'd be sweet. Three hype. Is, is this like the Cuban Missile Crisis or something like that over here? No, we're just going to stuff Yoda in it. Oh. <clears throat> Lame. Stick him in the pod, bitch. Get in. Get in. Get the fuck geezer. off my planet. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Kashyyyk. There's three Y's right in a row. Because that's how all planets are supposed to go. Because yeah. Star Wars! God, ever since I mentioned that Snoop Dogg matchup, I just have Prince Ali stuck in my head. Welcome. Prince Ali.